guys, how you doing? Today I'm gonna show you how to make a mummy. So I'm gonna show you the finished um, product first. It's just been painted and it's drying. That's what he's gonna lay on and that's how he looks. Okay, so I got my idea from this book um, for the table and the mummy. And here's the book. I wonder why pyramids were built and other questions about ancient Egypt. So what I did is I got together some, some old material to help wrap the mummy, um, popsicle sticks, different sizes for the mummy and also for the little bed thingy, a uh, hot glue gun and lots of glue. And then I used a rock. Not this one, but something where I could wrap around it to make the feet kind of stick up a little bit, like how his feet are sticking up. And what else? String. Um, I used one of these little styrofoam balls for his head. And I used four of these clothespins to hold up the, um, the little bed. So anyway, um, let's see. And then I use paint for the bed and also for the mummy. You can use like white or beige or something like that. And a scissors, because you need to cut the material and the string. And um, I started out with two strings and this is the one that I used. So I used a lot. Um, if you have thicker string, it probably will go a little bit faster but um, this worked fine too. Okay, so this right here, I just used three popsicle sticks and I had one straight and then the two on the outside are kind of leaning in more towards the feet because usually the mummies are bigger at the shoulders. Now, I my personal opinion is this mummy was a little bit short and stocky. Probably to be more realistic, you want the popsicle sticks to be a little bit longer, so you could add some down to the end. Then I took an old t-shirt and cut it up and started wrapping it around the mummy. So I had glue gunned it to the, uh, what you call it, popsicle stick and then just wrapped it around. And then I started wrapping the string around and you want it to go in a little bit by the neck. So it looks like that is actually a head and a neck and then the body starts. Um, I noticed that I still didn't have enough uh, width by the shoulders, so what I did was I added some more t-shirt over the string and then put more string around it. And then finally when it's mostly covered, I painted it. I used, actually I used two colors because I had a little bit of white left and then I had a little bit of this tan color left. So I just squirted it right on there. It's okay if it's really thick and then kind of painted it into the cracks. And that kind of gives it a nice little effect. And then to make the bed, what I did was I put together some popsicle sticks. I glued them together with hot glue and then I used four clothespins and put them on each of the corners with the parts sticking out down to hold it up. Actually, it looks like it's up, but that's because it's upside down right now, but it helps it be a little bit more sturdy. So you just put a little hot glue in each of the four corners and then put those in there. Let it, let it dry a little bit. And there you have a table. After it dries, you can start painting it. I had like a little popsicle stick holding the two big ones together. And you see how it's on the top in this picture? It's really supposed to be underneath. I should have put the clothespins on the other side. The drying takes more than an hour, of course. I let it dry overnight, but to, to put everything together really probably took less than an hour maybe took about 45 minutes to do all that. Of course, it takes a little time to shop if you need to. So that's how to make a mummy for less than, in less than an hour for a really inexpensive amount. Post your picture below of the mummy that you made. I'd love to see it.